just showed up at a place called East Jesus. I want to get Jake's first impressions on uh, East Jesus and Slap City. What do you think so far? Man, I'm blown. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> In a strange way, I feel like I belong here. <laughs> like, because I don't have an apartment, because I've been living in a vehicle for almost about a year, um, I, on the road that is, coming to places like this where it's like no man's land, I don't know, I don't like, I could maybe see myself like hanging out at a spot like this if I continued the bus life, you know? Look at what you could do with your creativity. You could turn garbage into art. Dude, what do you find right here? A time machine. <laughs> That's so amazing. Sorry, I just got a call out of space. Hold on. <laughs> Guys, I just met the creator of the Hi. TV wall, is that correct? Yes, sir. All right, uh, Flip. Flip Cassidy. Uh, sweet. So what exactly is the TV wall and how did this all come about? So I, several years ago, I thought it would be funny to paint over one TV screen and then paint over some things never change on it because the channel will never change again. Uh, and then once I saw one, I was like, oh, I want to see more. And I started collecting TVs. Um, and then for the, the first incarnation of it was actually the backdrop for a show that my band was putting on. So it was like maybe 14 of them, and it was the backdrop that we played in front of. And then that was before I even knew about this place. Uh, so uh, my buddy Joe had built the tire mammoth over here in the garden. And uh, Joe comes back from Slab City one weekend and goes, Dude, I found where we can take the mammoth. <laughs> And I'm like, can I bring the TVs out there too? And we come out here, we organize our Mammoth Erection Fest, threw a big party, brought out a bunch of bands from LA, and uh, we installed the Mammoth and the first TVs here. We got to meet Charlie Russell, who started this whole place. And, you know, from there, a lot of our lives changed forever. Uh, and, you know, I've been coming out here for seven years, been building this thing up the whole time. And, That's uh, amazing. Are, so are you a full-time resident out I here? I am right now. Yeah. I am right now. I have been for the two months, and I'm here through this whole season. Yeah. So like May, June, I'll kind of reassess what I'm doing next. Yeah. And would you consider yourself a squatter? And also, is that like a um, like a insulting word to use? Like like. Um, I well, a I wouldn't consider myself a squatter. Okay. Um, you know we. Uh, there is a nonprofit called the Chasteris Foundation uh, in Charlie's memory that we incorporated as so that we could buy the land from the state, make sure East Jesus never went anywhere. Um, you know, nobody can ever sell it out from under us and come with bulldozers. Yeah. Um, you know, it's. I think it depends on who you ask. You know, whether mm -hmm. to say you know squatting is negative or not. There's yeah. there's a really. Uh, you know, there's a large culture of travel and squatters yeah. of uh, just cool nomadic people. Um, there was actually a gathering out here this past weekend organized by a website called Squat the Planet. Oh, cool. And Squat the Planet is a resource for, you know, for traveling, hitchhiking, connecting with people. Um, you know, just all these kind of different kind of punk, nomadic, mm. DIY lifestyle kind of people who, mm. you know, don't want to stay in one place. And, yeah. You know, so that's like a resource for those people to connect with each other. And it's amazing that now, like, here we are in this future we live in where... You know, there's literally like an entire websites and online communities dedicated to squatting and DIY travel. So it's really, it's really kind of become a whole other thing now. Yeah. Like there's a whole scene and community to it and, you know, yeah. got to hang out with a lot of those folks and they're good, good, fun people. That's cool. And by the way, guys, 
I am a squatter. I squat different place, places every single night in the bus. As you know, I've not paid for one campsite or one place to stay overnight in over a year of travel. So we're on the same page in different ways. That's impressive. <laughs> I'm, I'm just always on the, on the move. So tell me why should somebody come out here and what's so special about East Jesus? Uh, what's special about East Jesus is, you know, we're, we're a weird outdoor art museum. Uh, we're the only museum, art museum in Imperial County. Um, and, you know, a lot of people come here and they get to experience, you know, looking at the trash from society in a different way. Um, you know, how easily this could be a pile in a landfill of broken TVs that are never going to work again, you know, or anything else around here. It'll, it, it challenges your mind to, to look at waste in a different way yeah. um, and, uh, you know, hopefully inspire people. Cool. That's, I... that's, really, that's really ultimately what it is. We're, we're a museum and a community and we exist to inspire artists. That's really the bottom line. Yeah. You guys, if you haven't checked it out already, you definitely should come out here. It's an amazing place and uh, be nice to the guys who take care of this place. Throw a little donation in the box uh, just to support the cause. So uh, we had a great fun day at the slabs, uh, <laughs> but I want to share with you something. Looking, I pulled off the road not too far away. Well, you can't see it, but Salvation Mountain's right over there. I just pulled like off the road, and you can't really see from this. You can't really see from the outside tire, but the inside tire is kind of stuck. So we got to figure out a way to get out of here tomorrow because we were in a soft spot right here and I felt it kind of hesitating. I, I just didn't want to bury the tires like I did in uh, Utah. See? Um, so, yeah, right there was kind of hesitating. You could see the soft sand. So uh, we'll figure that out tomorrow. Just want to thank all of you guys for watching. I want to thank uh, Jake for coming with me on this fun trip. It's gonna be a blast. We're off to a great start. There he is, he's vlogging. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you guys on the road tomorrow. Bye.